I can't believe how many salmon are in this pool. This is kind of typical, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, this is starting in about mid-August. This is the norm. You'll come up here and, I mean, we can look down and see hundreds of them right now. Yeah, yeah. Has anybody ever tried to work out just how many salmon come into this one creek yeah. in one so, run? So back in the 90s, they used to have a weir out front, so they would count how many would come through. And I'm not sure the exact numbers, but they took that down. And I mean, every single tide, when we look on that bank, we're seeing thousands of fish push in. Yeah. There's a spot down there, it was probably over a mile, and there were salmon everywhere, all the way along. But I can't get over, well, how many you catch, because <laughs> back home in the UK, you know, if you get two in a day sometimes, that would be maximum. And yet, you get kind of blase here. Do you fish much yourself? Uh, when I get time. Uh, in the Mainly just watching other people. Yeah, that, and that's pretty much for me, that's enough. Coming yeah. out here, seeing you catch a few fish. Yeah. In the evenings, I'll come down, I'll, I'll throw my rod out for about an hour or so, catch a couple here and there, but just going out with guests and seeing them get excited and happy, that, that's enough for me. I don't know how many we've caught in a few days, but just the sheer power each time. Single-handed rod, quite heavy line, 15, 19 pounds and they just disappear over the horizon. Yeah. It's brilliant. And, and right when you set the hook too, they yeah. shoot off like a rocket. It's fantastic. <laughs> that one long run, they'll come back, do a couple yeah. of jumps. Yeah. And then they see the net You never man. get the big kings here, the, the Chinooks. Too, too shallow? Too shallow. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a small creek. Yeah. The, it's a small creek, but it's stuffed with fish. Yeah, yeah and the, the area for, for the kings to spawn, it's not good here just because it's so shallow. Mm. They need deeper water, faster moving current. But this is perfect for the silvers. They um, are bright silver as well. Yeah. You know, we've got a mile, mile and a half now from the sea and they're still bright silver. When do they start to turn? Uh, once they've been in the river for about a week or two, they'll start to turn. And then when we go up to the lake up there, uh, after they've been here for about three weeks to a month, they'll start to get that reddish hue to them. Yeah. And after it's been over a month, they'll turn just a bright red color, similar to the color the of your jacket. That, that kite. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful fishing. 